mostly I've been doing schools in uh, Nairobi, in Mombasa, in Kisumu, and now I'm doing quite a bit of uh, central province. Today, Chui Nyoika goes with his planetarium to this school in the capital Nairobi. The planetarium consists of an inflatable plastic dome. Inside there is this projector, mounted with a cylinder that has child-friendly drawings of the star system surrounding Earth. This particular cylinder has uh, drawings of constellations, which are called Havelius constellations. Because Havelius was a, an astronomer in the 17th century who designed who drew constellations. So this is projected on the surface of the dome inside. You're going to learn about stars. You're going to learn about planets. You're going to learn about the moon. Are you excited? Yes. But I ask you, when you go in, you be very, very, so that you can hear and you can learn. Some of them they do get scared because of entering a dark place, but, but, but most of them get very excited at, at, at entering, yes. Okay, so we'll make a line, eh, so that we don't rush. Make a line. It's very dark indeed, but Chewie's son is there to guide the children through the star systems. He's trained to work with children from this age. I can see a cat. You can see a cat. One of the stories, is about a man called Orion. Say Orion. Orion. Say Orion. Orion. There's only one planetarium like this in the whole country. But Chewie can see the interest is growing. It's part of Africa emerging that we are now participating in so-called higher sciences. Um, as, as wealth increases, this kind of appreciation is there. Perhaps a few years ago, um, this would have been, would have seemed to people very abstract. Are you excited? Yeah. Chewie acquired it after having worked in the school for 20 years and he felt it was time for something else. Since I had been doing astronomy on a part-time basis, I decided to pursue it and see how I can expand the line and, 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 and approach more children. So I bought a planetarium from South America and um, now it, I run it as a business. Then after the star systems, the children travel back to Earth and to other planets. Jupiter is the biggest planet. That's Jupiter! That is Jupiter! It's hard to say what the children really make of it, but Chewie noticed that they simply love it. They are very, very, very happy and fascinated by getting a chance to learn about astronomy. And they want more. And that's precisely the reaction we are looking for. You just want to pick your curiosity and then from then on we hope it, it, takes, it takes off. And Chewie's hope is that one day some children will become scientists. There is no developing nation that can move forward without scientists who end up becoming engineers, who end up becoming doctors, who end up becoming all science related fields. For the school it's a reason for having the planetarium on the curriculum. So the children can be aware of what's around the planet, what planets we have and uh, probably become future scientists. Chewie, meanwhile, is working on opening a permanent planetarium in Nairobi. And I just hope to see that everyone now can look up at the sky and be able to say, there's Jupiter, that's Orion. That, that's, what, that, that, that's my dream. Until that day, Chewie and his planetarium can be seen on the way anywhere in Kenya. What's better, bigger or smaller? Big so which would you rather have, a big tree house or a small tree house? If it's big enough, you can have a disco. <laughs> oh yeah. It's not complicated. Bigger is better. And AT&T has the nation's largest 4G network.